What's up guys, Next Tech here, and if you're like me and you like changing your wallpaper a lot, you'll be really familiar with how annoying Android crops your image and how much it sucks. So I'm going to tell you how to get around that. It doesn't have to just work on tablets, you can use this app on phones or whatever you want. So let me show you the problem. Basically, I've got this really nice image here. It's a resolution, so I'll show you here, of 2560 by 1600 to fit on this amazing display. You can see there it looks really sharp, really beautiful image. Let me show you what happens when I set this with Android's default system. You get this really stupid cropping thing, which sucks. It's the worst thing I swear you'll ever encounter. You can only show that much of the image. I don't want that. I want to show the whole image. So let me show you if I press OK, what it actually does. So remember how that looked, that image, the whole thing. And you'll just see how much it sucks. I can't believe this hasn't been fixed or changed or just something because it's the most annoying thing when it comes to doing wallpapers on Android. And you can see there it's been completely cropped. We're now zoomed in. The quality isn't as good because of that. It just sucks all over and they've done this weird rotation thing that I'm also not a massive fan of. So how do you fix it? Well, you can get this app from the Play Store, which I'll show you here. I'll put the links in the description. Basically, you get to it by going to Live Wallpaper. I know, I know, Live Wallpaper, but don't be worried. It's called Simple Image Wallpaper Free. Like I said, the link's in the description, or you can get it from the Play Store. Um, click it, and you get this Settings and Set Wallpaper. Hit Settings. You can pick here what image you want. So just go into the gallery, you know, pick the image you want. I want this one. Fill screen, so it's going to fill the screen. There's loads of other options. Hide when locked, rotate for best fit. You can use a different image for portrait mode if you want to. I don't want to. And you can upgrade to Pro, which I'm sure will give you some other stuff. So we'll press back here. You can see the image is now filling the full screen. The set wallpaper. And there we go, guys. You can see now it is the full wallpaper. And also, there is no more rotation. So it's acting like a live wallpaper, but I prefer it a lot more. It's obviously not a live wallpaper, so it's not using any more CPU or anything like that. But look how awesome it is. You can see the full detail of the image. There is no more zoomed in stuff. You get the whole thing. It does work in portrait as well. I know you can't really see the whole thing there, but you can see it works beautifully. And I prefer it not rotating. So yeah. If you've had this problem, I'm sure many of you have. Like I said, it does work with phones and any other Android device. Be sure to get it. It's a great app and I'm going to be using it all the time now because, you know, I can have my full screen resolutions images without losing any quality or without losing any of the picture. So, yeah, as a quick tip for you guys. I'll see you later.